Hello everyone, let's go through a detailed explanation of how to install and use this welding machine accessory kit. MIG Torch First, select and install the appropriate contact tip based on the wire diameter. Then, attach the cup. Gas MIG Welding Mode Let's first remove the wire feed roller. Check if it's correctly installed. Next, pull out the carbon steel welding wire. Trim off the bent part. Feed the wire through the wire feeding system. Lift the pressure arm and clamp it down to secure the wire. Install the wire spool. Connect the internal terminal to the positive electrode. Attach the welding torch. Connect the ground clamp to the negative terminal and clamp it onto the workpiece or a metal surface in contact. Plug in the power cord. Turn on the power switch. Press and hold the wire feed button in MEG mode to automatically feed the wire. After the wire comes out from the nozzle, reinstall the contact tip and cup. Leave about one to two centimeters of wire sticking out. Insert the gas hose into the rear of the welder and secure it with a hose clamp. The other end should be connected to the carbon dioxide or mixed gas regulator outlet. Secure it with a hose clamp. Open the gas cylinder. Set the gas flow to around 10 liters per minute. Flux scored MIG welding mode. Let's now load the flux scored welding wire. Remove the wire feed roller. Check if it's correctly installed. Pull out the welding wire. Trim off the bent part. Feed the wire through the wire feed mechanism. Lift the pressure arm and clamp it down to secure the wire. Connect the internal terminal to the negative pole. Attach the welding torch. Connect the ground clamp to the positive terminal. Pulsed MIG aluminum welding mode. First, remove the original liner inside the torch neck. Replace it with a graphene liner. Trim off the excess liner. Then, replace the feed roller with a U-groove roller. Now pull out the ALSI welding wire. Trim off the bent part. Feed the wire through the wire feeding system. Lift the pressure arm and clamp it down to secure the wire. Install the wire spool. Connect the internal terminal to the positive terminal. Connect the welding torch. Attach the ground clamp to the negative terminal. Connect the gas hose to the argon gas regulator port. Secure with a hose clamp. Open the gas cylinder. Adjust the gas flow to around 20 liters per minute. Stick welding mode. Connect the ground clamp to the negative terminal. Connect the electrode holder to the positive terminal. Plasma cutting torch. Slide in the electrode first. Then install the gas diffuser. Next, attach the nozzle. Finally, tighten the protective shield. Plasma cutting mode. Connect the cutting torch to the combined gas and power port. Connect the control cable to the signal port. Connect the ground clamp to the corresponding interface. Assemble the air filter regulator first, then mount it to the appropriate position at the back of the welder. Connect the air inlet with a hose. Connect the other end to an air compressor. Open the air valve. Adjust the air pressure to around 0.4 megapascals. TIG torch. Select the proper collet based on tungsten diameter. Install the appropriate gas lens. Then tighten the ceramic cup. Insert the correct sized collet for the tungsten. Insert the sharpened tungsten electrode. Adjust the extension length of the tungsten electrode based on the ceramic cup size and your actual needs. Then tighten the back cap. TIG welding mode. Connect the TIG torch to the integrated gas and power port. Attach the control wire to the corresponding port. Connect the ground clamp to the positive terminal. Insert the gas hose into the back of the welder and secure it with a hose clamp. Connect the other end to the argon gas regulator outlet. Secure it tightly with a clamp. Open the argon tank. Set the gas flow to around 10 liters per minute. This is our guide on how to use this welding machine accessory kit.